Hi guys, I'm back. This video will be a long one. So, stick with me. First, I will give you an idea on what is a Holy Land pilgrimage. It is Holy Lands, not Holy Land. We will discuss what to bring to Holy Land. First, you must pack light. Kasi maraming mga places na maglalakad. At ikaw ang magdadala ng sarili mong mga bags. So, if possible, pack light clothes. And don't forget na may photocopy ka sa iyong passport and tickets. Bring also lots of moisturizer, lip balm, toiletry, sanitizer, tissues. And you can also bring candies like me. Some brought Skyplex. So don't forget that. Also, don't forget, of course, to bring flat wares. Rubber shoes flat, doll shoes flat, slippers flat. Dahil nga, marami kayong lalaka rin. Then, bring power banks. If possible, dalawang power banks. Do sa sasakyan, mayroon namang charging doon. And also, don't forget to bring jackets. November to, uh, uh, October to November, malamig sa umaga, early in the morning, uh, sa hapon. So, bring lots of jackets. And also, if you plan to go to Mount Sinai, you must be fully gird. Dahil ang lamig-lamig doon, manginginig ka. Dala ka ng thermal, warmer, bonnets, gloves, lahat-lahat. Dapat prepared ka. Bring also medicines. Kailangan mo, sa aming grupo, may naubusan ng gamot. Mahirap bumili doon. Kaya, bring medicines. Kung kailangan ng prescription or certification ng doktor, bring also. Para hindi ka mahirapan na maghanap doon kung maubusan ka. And of course, bring money. Yung package namin sa aming agency, kasali na lahat. Lahat na meals, kasali na. So, I will advise $300, maximum of $500. Dahil ang bibilhin mo, Mga pampasalubong mo lang naman. And mga religious items lang naman mga pasasalubong doon. So, except of course, kung gusto mong bili ng mga alahas or mga decors, marami din doon mabibili, mga tela, lahat-lahat maraming mabibili, perfume, at pwede mo rin ipadeliver sa iyong bahay sa Pilipinas. So, bring lots of money if you want to. Yun lang siguro ang naisip ko na para mayroon kayo mga idea kung ano yung pupuntahan nyo, anong gagawin doon. Ngayon, I will give you the reality. Kasi, iba-iba pala, iba ang Marian pilgrimage na na-experience ko, iba naman ang Holy Land uh, pilgrimage na na-experience ko. Magkaibang, magkaiba. Ang Holy Land experience, ma Holy Lands nga, marami. Kaya, marami din akong realization doon. Unang-una, what is a pilgrim? Ano ba ang pilgrim? Pilgrim is a person who travels or who journeys to the holy places. Example, sa Holy Land, where Jesus was born, grew, and suffered and died. So, hindi pa kami umalis. Siyempre, naiisip ko, naiimagine ko kung saan siya sinilang, lumaki, saan siya nagpreach at namatay. Pero pagdating doon, ang in-imagine ko, totally hindi tama. Wala na yung originality, hindi na na-preserve dahil na-destroyed na lahat sa gera wars. For example, yung napuntahan namin ng House of Mary, sa underground makita mo yung ruins ng kanilang bahay. 
yun pala ang nangyayari dahil maraming gera, lagi nga di-destroyed, gumagawa silang simbahan, gera na naman, destroyed na naman. So, ang simbahan doon, mayroong first floor, second floor, third floor. Sabi ni Padre Akira tayo sa third floor, andun yung Catholic Church doon. Kasi marami din parang church doon, mayroong Orthodox Church, Armenian Church, mayroong pang Coptic Church sa Egypt. So, yung ini-imagine mo na ang mapuntahan mo yun na hindi pala at crowded na crowded doon kasi ang no October to November hindi lang peak season ang tawag nila craziest season kaya there was one time na 5 o'clock in the morning umalis na kami sa hotel para makapila napakahabang pila natapos kami 8 o'clock ang pila nasa labas ng gate kung magtagal ka pa aabot na sa parking lot ang gate kaya craziest season doon. So, when you go to the Holy Land, it means sacrifice. You will be going out of your comfort zone. Kung saan kayo na hotel, hindi mo nagustuhan, maganda ang bahay ninyo, ang higaan ninyo, you have to accept that, you have to sacrifice. Yes, there are lots of foods, but not all foods taste good. I-accept mo rin yan, at saka always on the go kasi maraming pupuntahan sa isang umaga maraming pupuntahan sa isang hapon always on the go ka uh, may wake up call break, breakfast time dapat ganitong time nasa bus na lahat so walang pabanjing banjing doon you have to be always open kung anong flow ng araw na yun and of course you have to accept your group First time mo silang nakita, first time mo silang nakasama. But that is the group given to you by God. That is your new family. So there is, there must be acceptance. Then, pagdating doon, akala mo kagaya sa Pilipinas. Pero hindi. Kung i-rate ko from clean to cleaner to cleanest or dirty, Dirtier, dirtiest. Ang pinakamalinis ay ang Israel. Then Jordan. Nagtay ang dalawa Egypt at ang uh, Palestine. Nagkalat ang basura, maraming langaw, kahit sa bus, kahit sa restaurant. Minsan, pumapasok pa kung saan-saan sa buong ang amor, kung hindi ka mag-ingat. Oh, ang reason daw dyan, dahil maraming gera, hindi na sila nakapaglinis o whatsoever, pero marami doon. Sa Israel, malinis. Hindi lahat na ini-imagine mo original pa. Hmm? Ang original lang doon, yung, of course, Sea of Galilee. Kaya nang sumakay kami sa pump boat na malaki o lansya na malaki. You are sailing on the Sea of Galilee. Ma-feel mo talaga ang presence ng Panginoon. Hindi na bago yun. Yung Red Sea, hindi rin na bago. Of course, yung Mount Sinai. Ang masasabi ko lang, when you join a pilgrimage, you must pray hard. The gift of focus. The gift of surrender. Dahil ang daming commercialism doon crowded, mainit, pagkain, lahat-lahat gagamitin ni Satanas para mawala ang focus mo. You have to pray the grace na ma-focus ang mind mo, ang heart mo totally kay God. Lalo na doon sa baptism sa Jordan River. When, they have, have, when heaven will open, what will you tell God? And when you see the nativity, makita mo yung place na isinilang ang Panginoon and the tomb of Jesus you will feel indescribable emotions na hindi mo ma-express at iiyak ka na lang dahil yung lahat na kikita mo na babasa mo sa Biblia is real so sabi nga do your best and God will do the rest pray hard sa pilgrimage na sasalihan mo, you will have a complete union with God. 
in the Holy Lands. Isa sa mga homily ni Father, that persons are gifts. Graces are made, meant to be shared. Kung anong mayroon ka, dapat i-share mo. Ikaw, ako, we are a blessings to one another. So if you have that blessings, share it. You are a blessing. We are all a blessing. And when we have complete union with God, God will take us deeper into His heart. And when we are open, God will, will enter to the deepest part of our hearts. Dok in altum. At isa sa mga realization ko, that we are all blessed. The people in the Holy Lands are blessed. Kahit mayroon silang desyerto, tayong ating mga bundok, maraming mga tanim, sila wala. But we are in the Holy Lands. We are blessed dahil mayroon tayong mga maraming tanim, walang desyerto, malayo naman tayo sa Holy Lands. Balance lang. So we are all blessed. But Israel, Palestine, and Egypt, and all other countries in the world, especially in the Holy Lands, needs our prayers. Dahil sa pag-uwi namin, may gira na doon. So, I hope you include the Holy Lands, a prayer of peace, peace within our hearts, peace within the Holy Lands, peace within our country, and peace of the whole world. We are all blessed. God is with us. Jesus loves us. And lastly, nung nakarating ako sa Mount Sinai, never in my mind na makarating ako doon. I love mountains, but I'm not a mountain climber. Pero dinala niya ako doon. Hindi ko maintindihan ang nararamdaman ko nung naka natin ako doon sa summit. Kaya, nag-uumapaw yung pasasalamat ko. I praise and thanks God for bringing me there, for letting me join the pilgrimage. Hopefully, darating din ang panahon ninyo, one of these days, na makarating din kayo sa Holy Lands. Uh, sa mga tao may pera, na nag-alangan, wag. Dahil yung experience ninyo, yung saya, kahit maraming sakripisyo, hindi mababayaran ng salapi. Just try it. Sabi nga, use your money to enjoy life. Use your money for the greater honor and glory of God. Do not be slave by your money. So, sa nagtatanong, tungkol sa presyo at sa agency namin. Ang agency namin is Journeys of Faith. The best agency ever. Sabi ni Manalilian kasi tatlong beses siyang bumalik sa Holy Lands. Itong agency lang ito bumilib siya. We are all taken care, well taken care of. Uh, level up kami ng mga hotel kasi marami kami hindi basta-basta yung binigay na lang servisyo sa amin. We paid 3,800 US dollars with insurance na yon At saka, complete na yon breakfast, lunch, dinner, usually buffet. Wala ka nang gagastasin pa. Pakit money mo na lang kung meron kang gustong bibilin. So I hope, uh, sa nagtatanong or Nag-isip ko ano Holy Lands Pilgrimage, sana naliwanagan kayo. At huwag na kayong mag two by two, mag-doubt pa or mag-alanganin pa. Life is too short. Do it now while you're still alive. Enjoy Holy Land and feel the presence of God. See you on my next video. God bless us all. Ay, before I forget, may kasama kaming dalawang pari, si Father Domi, 
which gives us good homilies. Na may mababaon ka talaga sa pagtulog mo, pag-reflect mo. There was one incident na ang ganda ng ano namin, ng Holy Mass namin, that you have the chance to talk to God heart by heart. What a wonderful experience, a wonderful feeling. There is also a young depressed Father Divine who is also very active. Makikita mo talaga na isa sa buhay nila ang Panginoon sa bawat galaw, sa bawat salita. Thank you, my dear viewers. God bless us all. Love you. God bless.